But I made it to the sixth grade. It was a great experience. <laughs> great day in my life. I had this teacher in the sixth grade who hated my guts. I didn't care for her guts. <laughs> She's my reading and spelling teacher. And the only thing I ever made straight A's in in my life was reading and spelling, and I was really bored. When a hyperactive person gets bored, <laughs> things pop into his brain. <laughs> he has no control over. Things like get up and run around the room. <laughs> get you a whipping in this teacher's class because she hated me. She had this thing worked out with my father. It's called two for the price of one. You get a whipping at school, you get a whipping at home. <laughs> I'd sit in the back of her class and I did my best to keep my brain occupied. I'd sit back there and I'd make up these words that only I knew what they meant. And the reason she hated me was not because I made straight A's in her class, was not because I made up words, but because of the way I pronounced her name. <laughs> she had a wonderful name. Her name was Miss... Barth. B A R T H. I'll never forget her. She was a big lady too. She had thighs and separate zip codes. It was nice. And she had she had one of these incredible hairdos. I, I've never seen one like it before or since. It, was, it, looked like, it looked like 10 cow patties with a hairnet over it. It was, it was huge. I mean, you could house missionaries on furlough up in that thing. It'd go on for days and Miss Barth hated me. So I'd sit in the back of her class and I made up words. I made up big old words, you know, that only I, I knew what they meant. And she found a letter I'd written one day with these words that I made up. She came waddling over to me with that letter. You could hear her coming. Her thighs were apologizing to each other. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. And she stuck that letter in my face. Whenever she'd get upset, she'd shake that head. That old dude would fly. I was dodging hairpins. She said, Mark, What is this? I said, can't you read? <laughs> Whose idea were these? I don't know who made me wear these shoulder pads. But I'm I was afraid they were going to fall forward, and I can't handle that. <laughs> but she told me to write this letter, and I took, a, I took a letter that I'd written myself. She said, why don't you write something that makes sense? I said, okay, Miss Barth, I will. <laughs> so the next day, I took her a letter. I was very proud of that letter. Handed it to her. <laughs> she read it. It said this, Dear Miss Barth, your feeble attempt to participate in any intelligent conversation only goes to exaggerate your already pathetic lack of mental ability. <laughs> Sincerely, Mark Lowry. I got a three-day vacation. Mama came to get me. The worst part of that whole deal is I got spanked for... My dad, my dad spanked me that night. He set me down, you know, like he did. He'd always explain to me why I was being spanked. Because usually I'd forgotten. <laughs> he set me down. He said, Mark, if you ever write anything like that again, did I spit on you? <laughs> 
It'll flake off after it dries. Don't worry about it. He said, Mark, if you ever write anything like that again, don't sign it. 